Uh, in this video, we'll be learning how to create a directory website using WordPress in the business directory plugin. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll need a WordPress website. So if you don't have one set up, then I'll link a video now and it will teach you how to set up a WordPress website from scratch. So once you have a WordPress site, then you can just go down into plugins here and click add new. And then search for business directory. Then we're going to choose this one here business directory plugin okay so once that's installed what we were going to do is click activate okay and just either click yes or no so we're just going to click no and okay here so here's the directory so let's just click it and go into the settings okay so it's just asking about tracking so we're just gonna click no okay so this is great it allows this plugin will create the necessary pages so to make things easier, we're just going to click this button. OK, so here's our business directory on the home page. It's a very simple website, kind of lo looks like a Craigslist kind of style. Let's go over the settings of the business directory plugin. OK, so in directory, let's go into settings. OK, so we're just going to use a free version. So just SEO and spam. So this is asking if you want to use a CAPTCHA, but we're just going to make it so that they need to register. So require login to post listings. OK, OK, and then let's just go into listings here. Number of listings per page. So everything on the default and it looks good in the categories. Yeah, let's turn this one on. Hide empty categories because there's no point of showing it if there's nothing there. Then contact form include listings contact form. Yeah, require login for use of the contact form. OK, and maximum number of contact for each day. So let's just set that to zero. And then require login yes let's require a login just so to avoid spam okay and then buttons okay, i think by default that's good and then sorting again the default looks good here okay so next is the email so these are the email notifications so let's just do a new listing is submitted the listing payment is complete and these as well and then this is for the user click like save changes and the payments to so put in the correct currency which your target demographic is and then put payment in test mode so we're going to turn that off click save okay so next we're going to go in appearances we're going to go into so this is just the primary color so just make sure it matches your brand so we're just going to keep it at black and click save changes okay and then images as well okay so these are just the dimensions that the that they want the images in but i think just the default is fine okay and then mis lastly miscellaneous so data collection and uninstall so we can just skip those okay so let's see what else is available here so the payment history okay as yes, to do paid listings it seems like you need to upgrade so we're just going to do free listings for now with this plugin just to get the core set up and then if you're looking to make it a paid directory then you can just upgrade to their premium version Let's just go back into settings and then payments and then just put it in test mode like save changes but because we don't have the module i don't even think it's going to be affected okay, so next let's go into themes yeah just hit default theme so they do have other themes available on their website so you can look at those and then lastly let's look at smt fee so this is how if your hosting doesn't provide email hosting and then you can install this plugin and then you can send emails using your gmail or email service provider such as um, mailgun or sendgrid but i'm using wp engine so it already comes with it already handles the email deliveries okay so now let's go over just setting up the listings okay so we're just going to make a standard business directory so we're just going to do a salon and then gym and then lastly just restaurant yeah so yeah let's just do these three here okay and then if you are doing the paid plans then you can do it here yeah and again it's saying that you need to upgrade to make it um to make these plans so we're just gonna do the free listings so just you can just delete this one if you're just doing the free listings next we're gonna go into form fields so these are just the forms for your um for your listing category so these are just the, the fields for when you're creating a listing. So you can preview the form here. Yep, so this looks like a just a standard listing form. Okay, so I think this is good. And lastly, just import and export. Yeah, so if you're looking to migrate 
to if you're looking to export your listings into another website then you can do that here okay so now let's let's try to create a listing so go here into listings and then add new listing okay so let's create a listing let's just do bob's gym just some phone numbers email okay, and then here on the side it's just a free listing and then we're going to click publish okay so let's view the listing okay great so here's the listing let's try to create on the front end okay click add listing okay so yeah this is a lot better process so you select the category gym's gym get strong at gym's gym just copy that here as well okay and then email and these are just optional and then complete listing okay great so it's there let's just view here okay so Jim's Jim, Gym, I think we need to approve it. So let's just check it out on the back end. Directory content. Jim's Gym, Gym, yeah, you see it's pending. So let's just approve it. We would do publish listing here and click apply. So this is good if you're looking to moderate your listings. But you can also, I believe, in the settings do auto publish listings. But in the beginning, you should um, just monitor your listings. Yeah, so you can do it here as well, just making sure that the listings are automatically published. So let's just set publish and click save changes. Okay, let's go back to our home page. Okay, now let's try to make it so we can so the user can log in and log out back in the dashboard here and settings you want to make it here so anyone can register and that should create the necessary links okay so let's remove these links up here in the header let's go to edit site okay, and just here in the header remove page list and then click save okay let's check the front end now okay yeah so now this is a lot cleaner so let's view the website when we're not logged in okay so here on the homepage, we're able to see our directories here. So Jim, Bob's Jims, and Jim Jim. Try to click add listing. Okay, so see, now it's asking you to register. So this is good. So let's say not yet registered. Okay, so now we're going to have to register. So let's just say, I'll just make, um, use my personal email. Click register. And then just double check your email. Okay, so here's the email. So now you just need to create a password. Okay, so we'll just use this password and log in. Okay, so now we're going to log in and password. Okay, great. So now we're logged in and now we're able to add a listing. So let's just do that now. Okay, so let's just create a restaurant. Chicken wing. I love chicken wings. I love chicken wings. And then the email. I love chicken wings. And the address, chicken way. And then click complete listing. Okay, great. So your listing has been submitted and then let's view the listing. Awesome. So now I'm... As a user, you're able to also edit and delete your listing. So we have our listing here. And then anyone interested in visiting your restaurant can just put in their details here. And then uh, either they want to make a reservation or just have a question. Let's just try to edit the listing again. Click next. Yeah, let's just add a phone number here. Complete listing. And then view the listing. And then there we go. We have our phone number here. So now we have gyms and restaurants and we can search, use the search bar as well. So let's just search chicken wings, chicken wing cut. Here are just the filters. And then here it is our listing, chicken wing cut. So this is how you create just a basic uh, business directory using WordPress and the My Business Directory plugin. So this concludes the end of the video. I hope you're able to create a directory website using WordPress. Please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.